What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today is obviously package day. I got two packages in today, and uh, these are both from Bobby Keys. So thanks Bobby for these awesome packages. Uh, I know exactly what I think this one is, and this one is a surprise. Bobby sent me a uh, surprise package. I have no idea what's in here. I did have a heads up that he was sending me something, but I have no idea what it is. So. Um, first we'll get into the one that I'm pretty sure I know what it is, and then we will look at the other one. So, um, these types of packages are my least favorite mailing receptacles because, uh, if you cut them wrong, they're full of, like, recycled paper dust or something like that, so you don't want to actually cut these open. Um... I know, I know it's one of those because the type it is, but also when I went to rip off the packing label, so nobody saw the information. Yeah, it and that stuff gets everywhere. So uh, if you get these in the mail, don't cut them open over some place where uh, it's gonna be hard to clean. <laughs> All right, but you cut them open properly, and it's not a problem. So. All right, uh, you can see there's a little bit of a opening there, and there seems to be something else in the bottom as well. This time I was ready, my friend. All right, I have no idea what that means. We'll find out. Uh, there is a lock in here, but let's uh, get into this. We'll see what this is. I know what it is. Uh, some of you might know what it is already by the look, but we're going to open it up and take a look at it. This is one of the pick makers or pin makers of the world unite. Oh, there we go. So this is uh, number one, actually. There's a note in here. I'm going to take this off screen for a sec. You never know what's in here. Oh, okay. There's a list of people who've picked it. Bronx Lock Picker 60 and Bobby Keys have both picked this lock already. So uh, these, for those of you who don't know, were uh, made up by uh, Pete Rustall. And uh, they are uh, seven pin. Ovals. Well, that's a pretty good bidding. <laughs> they almost look like a Lockwood or something like that. I'm not too sure the brand name of these. But um, with uh, nothing but challenge pins in here. And the clip is a little draggy on the back here. Oh. Um, yeah, it doesn't want to turn at all now. Not sure what's up with this. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably take that clip off and, uh, oh no, the clip is moving around. I don't know what's up with this, guys, but I just opened it and it is, does not want to turn. So I might have to actually take this thing apart before I pick it. Unfortunately, it feels like something's come loose in there or something. Anyway, uh, we will take a look at this in a separate video. Very cool that I actually got my hands on one. I was following this video where he was making the boxes and obviously following his videos when he put the call out for pins. Um, one of mine is in here. <laughs> uh, who else do we have in here? Oh, pretty much everybody. Uh, Gear, Pickbeard, Dr. V, Leon's Lockpad, TJ's Lockpicking Nord, uh, Pickbeard again, Flying Locksman, Super Llama, uh, Mechanic Dan, Monkey Lock Picks, me, Andy H, uh, 97, uh, ZBZZN, uh, slash board. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, phone rang, of course. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, uh, Z, or, sorry, I'm Canadian, so I'm going to pronounce it ZBZZN, slash Boris. And um, I believe I picked one of his locks before, but it's been quite a while. And Lock Noob. 
So that's a good uh, representation of the community here in this one lock. That is pretty awesome. Um, going to get to that in another video. I'm going to have to work out why it's uh, dragging in the cylinder there, but I don't want to force anything, so I'll probably have to pull it apart before I pick it, unless for some reason it starts working properly. <laughs> anyway, uh, very awesome. Thanks, Bobby, for sending this to me. I will definitely send it out after I'm done with it. I uh, will make sure it's functioning properly before I do that. Um, I'm sure it's probably just something in transport uh, came loose or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, and he, this was in the bottom of the package. It said, this time I was ready, my friend. So, I'm not too sure what that means. Oh, <laughs> it's a, uh, a walk from Bobby Keys. This is probably for uh, an out-of-the-package picking. Um, but I have two packages here from Bobby today, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this one or any of them. Uh, depends on how long this video ends up being. Uh, very cool, though. I will add this to uh, the bucket of locks that I got from Bobby. And i am probably got more here. I'm not sure actually what's in here at all. This is the real surprise. And uh, I'm very curious as to what is in here. It is a decent box, so I'm probably going to try to save it. I'm like that. I could spend a dollar on a box, but if I do that 20 or 30 times, that's uh, a package I could ship out to somebody. <laughs> so I could just save money and reuse boxes, which is what I do. Uh, okay, it opens this way. So, um, Bobby was telling me that he was waiting for some stuff before he was going to send this package to me. Um, it was very om ominous. I, I didn't uh, have anything planned. I did send out a few packages uh, to people as a surprise, and I guess this is Bobby's way of sending me one as a surprise. Uh, let's see what's in here. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, that's something substantial. Oh, nice. Some uh, key blanks. These are Everest. I think they're S123s. Yes. S. Oh, S145s. Nice. Uh, yeah, S145, S145, S145. I can tell they're S because the, uh, the little notch missing part in the bow of the key there, that little hole. That is uh, definitely S. So, what else have we got here? A bunch of cool stuff. Get all this aside. Alright, and there's also a note in this one. I'm going to uh, read this note really quick off camera. Uh, so, sorry I didn't have time to make one of my locks. This stuff came in really quick. That's alright, you sent one in the other package. Awesome. Uh, no, 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 no. It's just a couple things so how much I appreciate uh, not only what you do for me and everyone else in our awesome community. Well, thank you, Bobby. Uh, I feel the same about you. And he says, uh, uh, for, you know, pretty much thank you for being a true friend. And uh, right on, Bobby. That's, that's awesome. I love uh, the relationships that I've built in this community and um, you know the giving nature of, of everybody would genuinely want to help each other out and I think that's awesome um, and I'm just trying to be a part of it <laughs> that's all I'm trying to do I, everything I do I pretty much have the community in mind so this is uh, uh, okay late night lock picker um, it's all abbreviated but I, I know the name so this is uh, what is it home security it's called by late night lock picker. I haven't picked a late night lock picker lock yet. So let's see what else he sent. Uh, he's opened this, and then I guess to make sure he got what he ordered, and then put it right back in the bag and sent it to me. <laughs> I could, this is one of the things I guess he said he was waiting for something to come in, and I guess this is, was it. I, I think I know what it is from the feel, and if it is. Oh, no way, Bobby. You are awesome, man. Um, I was looking at these. I was asking where, where people got them from. 
and I was looking at them, and it's hard to find like a good one on on eBay. This is a uh, Schlag, the tailpiece removal tool. As you can see, the uh, back tailpiece. These actually go in there and helps you remove the tailpiece um, without any you know muss or fuss. There's two different sizes. I'll have to figure out which one is which here, but. Um, very awesome. I was actually looking for one of these, and Bobby uh, obviously watches my videos. <laughs> he knows I need one, so thanks very much, Bobby. That is awesome. I really wanted one of these, and now I've got one. So very, very awesome. That's going to sit in my epic printing tray of goodness. It will always be there. And then we have whatever this is. Oh, it is an honest dong. <laughs> Uh, Honest Dong makes a bunch of uh, wall picking stuff. I'm not too sure which one this is though, so we're going to uh, take a look at it and find out. And this is brand new guys, it's not even been opened. Very awesome, Bobby, you are the best. <laughs> wow, I'm blown away here man, that's, uh, that's pretty epic. Let's see what is in here. Oh, no way. An actual, like, real dimple pin set, pick set. That is just sweet. Um, I tried getting used to this other one Bobby sent me. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Um, but I always have trouble with it. It doesn't really want to stay tight. Uh, I've cleaned up the flags that I tried using, but they all seem kind of uh, big and unwieldy. These actually look pretty nice right out of the package. Wow, Bobby, you are awesome, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably uh, calling me out on my dimple lock picking skills a little bit too. I'm not everybody knows. All right, guys, I apologize. I actually got uh, called out on an emergency, so I had to go in the middle of making this video. So this is actually the next day. I didn't get home for several hours later. I was in the middle of uh, looking over this awesome dimple pick set that Bobby sent me. Very, very awesome. Um, I was not expecting something like this, and uh, he obviously watches my channel and knows what I need, and uh, <laughs> I definitely needed a decent dimple pick set. He'd sent me one before, but uh, I never really got used to this thing. I tried it a few times. It did get me into a few locks, but uh, I could never really get the feel down for it, and uh, the bit kept spinning inside of the collar, even though I had it tightened down really tight. And, I don't know. I never really got used to this one, but this one looks uh, this looks top notch. Um, <laughs> there's probably nothing at all wrong with this one. It looks pretty much you know, perfect from the factory. I might have to knock down some of the edges, but I mean this is a very very nice looking flag set. So uh, thanks a lot, Bobby. This is awesome. Uh, totally unexpected and way, way more generous than I thought <laughs> anyone would be to me. Uh, very, very cool, man. Thanks a lot. I have no excuse now for not picking dimple locks. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I had to finish off this video because I actually got an email from Bobby uh, inquiring about the package that he sent, if I got it yet or not. Uh, it's funny because I got it. Uh, it showed up yesterday. And I got the email yesterday, so <laughs> I didn't have tracking on it. Oh, it did, actually, so I guess he knew it was here. Or well, maybe it didn't have tracking, I don't know. I'm looking at a different package. Anyway, um, so I I just got home, as you could probably tell. It's the next day now, and I'm pretty damn tired, so <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. Uh, i got to wake up and work again in about 10 hours, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to wind down for the night, or for the day, I should say. It's my night now, and um, go to bed. But very, very awesome, Bobby. Thanks for all this stuff. Uh, everything's pretty much where I left it on the table here after getting called in. Uh, very, very sweet. I can't wait to get into all this stuff. Um, we have the pin, pin Makers of the World tonight. We have uh, Late Night Lock Picker. Challenge lock and a Bobby Keys challenge lock. It's going to be awesome. And some sweet, sweet uh, S145s. Yeah, S145 Everest keys for my pinning board. That is awesome, Bobby. Thanks so much for all this wicked stuff. Um, 
apologize this video is in many parts but uh yeah you know you got to do what you got to do for money right <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching everybody thanks again so much bobby keys for all this awesome stuff and uh man i can't can't wait to get into these when i get some time i'm definitely going to be practicing some dimple lock picking man that is so sweet i was actually looking at these and uh i was thinking of buying a set so anyway before i fall asleep on camera <laughs> I'm going to see you guys later.